Romania is so underrated when it comes to dating women and there's a lot of things people don't know and in this video I'm gonna elaborate the things that you should be expecting when coming to our country and if you wanted to visit Romania and you're maybe in some doubt I'm gonna clarify those for you in this video welcome to the channel my name is Andrew I run the biggest dating company in Romania at this point we have been doing this for the past 15 years of my life and uh, we are here to serve you and get you fast results so this summer was very interesting we had a lot of clients and we worked with a lot of men over here in Bucharest and uh, one thing I want to mention is uh, there were some people that came from uh, from a lot of different countries they took action we were on the field every single day so we we've seen them and we saw the fact that they were very very disappointed in fact there is one of them actually I think commented on this channel saying like oh Romanian women are very tough very hard to get and whatnot you know so I don't want you to be affected by this bullshit because you have a lot of guys and because they don't succeed with women they start to believe oh it's their fault it's not my fault, I'm not gonna take responsibility. No, no, it's their fucking fault. And uh, that's a bullshit story that you tell yourself to feel better. So let me just tell you why it's so underrated. Number one, Romanian women are incredibly romantic. You will never find somebody that's gonna be so loving, so tender, so passionate, so enthusiastic when you talk with her about the things that she loves to do. Try to talk with a Romanian woman about relationships and what her beliefs are regarding this, you will see she is so in love with the idea and very passionate about every single little detail. In fact, they are uh, amazing servants and I'm gonna call them like this because we are all servants at the end of the day. We serve people, I serve you in this very moment as a guy. And I, I'm actually feeling honored to serve you. I feel amazing for you to put your trust in me and to give me that opportunity, so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm actually proud that you chose me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I am proud being a servant to you and with that being said they are servants and what that means is they will try their best to satisfy your needs and we're talking about different stuff over here might be culinary needs might be sexual needs might be emotional needs might be social needs whatever needs you might have they will try their best to be there for you the second reason and I know this interests a lot of guys is they are actually very open and very fast to get married <laughs> I know it sounds weird but they really want to find a husband and they really want to get married they some of them want to have kids and that's the reality well if you come in a country where girls are oriented to serious things they, they want they want relationships well of course they're gonna want serious life they're gonna want moments together you can easily add whatever Romanian girl on Instagram right now you can write on Instagram hashtag Bucharest find Romanian girls add them over there and just translate whatever their bullshit they're talking about in their posts and you will see it's always romantic stuff and uh, and things like that and by the way i'm talking about women over here the reason i am mentioning this we had a lot of guys that they were chasing kiddos chasing girls of about 19 years old i am 31 years old and i only usually approach 28 plus i never go under under 28 because i just feel like there's nothing for us to talk so if we're talking about women then you will get a taste of what being a woman is by dating Romanian women the third thing they like they fucking like to have fun there isn't one Romanian woman that I've dated or that I know that hasn't slept with two guys at the same time or that doesn't have an experience with two girls at the same time so they are fun they don't do this every time they don't do this all the time not all of them do this but they are usually very open-minded when it comes to sexual behavior sexual stuff <laughs> they like sexual toys so you can understand how your life is going to be with her and uh, for that reason i'm saying that romania is very underrated and romania is very underrated because of the guys that they have in romania yeah you're looking at me you're like wow you're like nice fashion playboy style you look like a bad boy <laughs> do not ever think that all romanian men are like this no <laughs> no 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 I'm I'm just a guy that I work on myself and this is what I promote for men that find my channel to work on themselves at a deeper level we understand that it does matter how you dress how you dress shows people the amount of self-respect you have so you know you have a lot of people that just that say all the time just be yourself but you got to think about it who the fuck in this world 
is really himself. And uh, what does be yourself actually mean? Because if you have a lot of stuff that you didn't heal about yourself, you're not conscious about them, well, being yourself can be a fucking hell. You will kill everyone on the street because that's how you feel inside. You know what I mean? So nobody's being himself. And the people that give this advice is people that really want to hurt you and make sure that you stay mediocre. You don't take action. So never guide yourself with nonsense like that. So with that being said, Romania is very underrated also for these beliefs, these arguments that other people that visit our country express, but then you look at the people and who exactly did you talk to, there's people that have travel vlogs, people that just, you know, just, just stay for like a month over here, it's hard to understand the culture, it's hard to discover people and understand the traditions, it's, it's very tough to understand the place a woman might come when you talk to her, this is pretty impossible. There is this saying that you can live with, uh, with a person for all your life and you will never know who she is, well that that's reality. So don't expect for yourself to live, you know, your one week or one month in Bucharest in Romania and you understood everything. No, there's always something to discover. And what I want to actually let you understand is not only you will see beautiful things over here, you will have loads of fun, the historical places. Not only you will discover what what the culture is, but one thing that is true for a lot of students over here that come and do the boot camps with us. Oh man, they would never expect the things that happen usually. You never know. But you could easily pick up a Romanian chick that is dating like a rich guy and you end up by her place because she's so unhappy, she's so unsatisfied because of this guy is always working, traveling, God knows. Most probably fucking escorts. And uh, she is so sad and you're just gonna be the shoulder that she cries on. And I used to do this, like I, I would meet a girl, I, I never knew where the situation can lead me to. And I would end up at her place, she's with a rich guy that she just hasn't seen in like two years or something like some crazy bullshit. And I would drive like a Porsche Carrera because that's the car the guy had at his place, but he is not there. So she's lending me the car for like one week, one full month, one fucking year. And I'm, I was like, Jesus Christ, my life changed in a blink of an eye. I was a, I was a guy that was washing cars. I used to work in a, you know, in a, in a washing facility for cars. I don't know how you call that, but I was washing vehicles. And then again, I'm dating this girl she's like 32 years old I was like 24 at that time and she's like oh you can grab my husband's car you know I'm like fucking driving a Porsche Carrera <laughs> all day long as a, as a kid you know and that was interesting so what, I, what I'm trying to say is dating in itself approaching women is underrated because you do not understand the possibility and what exactly you could end up doing that and so I really hope you think about the things we we underlined over here I really hope you come and visit Romania maybe you join one of our boot camps or maybe we're gonna do some private coaching online we do that as well we have special packages for you and uh, see you next time bye bye